Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I thought I would share a little outfit of the day with you guys. I know I've been a little absent. I've just been busy doing tons of things. I'm very frustrated with my cameras. I know I get so many complaints. Nobody wants to see my webcam anymore. Um, and my big camera, I just don't, I, I don't understand it. I can't get the focus thing down. So I'm back on this. Um, a lot of, lot of things going on, just busy with Easter and all that stuff, so that's the reason behind that. Um, I will stand back there and show you guys what I'm wearing. It's a little denim on denim. Um, it is cold here. It was hot. Uh, it's freezing in the mornings, and then it's like sweltering hot in the afternoon, so I've been layering a lot lately to try to combat that, um, but by noon, my sweater is usually hanging on the back of my chair or something because it's so hot but it's so cold in the morning it's just weird anyway okay so I have on my old navy rockstar blue jeans I'm still loving those a lot my taupe Oxfords from Target with the pink sole. I love those. I like that they go with everything. The taupe just kind of matches everything. My chambray shirt. It's a blue jean shirt. It's from The Gap. And then this sweater, which is kind of mint and gray striped, which is Mossimo from Target. My L&M necklace, which I love, and I thought it just kind of dressed up the look a little bit since it's like denim on denim and the big secret and I know this isn't a secret anymore because everybody knows about it is if you're going to do denim on denim you have to do dark and light paired together you can't do like a wash of one complete color unless you're going for like a country western thing you know if you're like purposefully doing it but it's very very difficult to do I would not suggest it I've got blue jeans about this color it doesn't they don't go well it doesn't look right so Definitely do a darker with a lighter uh, wash, and then you could just wear it like so, although I think when you do denim on denim, you need a top layer to break it up. So I think it's better to do it in the colder months when you can layer a sweater over it, and it kind of breaks up the denim um, a little bit. You know, it gives your outfit a little bit of a pop. In the summer, I would not suggest doing the denim on denim look only because you can't really layer unless you're going for like a um, racerback undershirt and you're using the denim as like a kind of cardigan if that makes sense um that's a really cool look so there's that um l m like i said it's beautiful it's the smoke audrey necklace i love it it goes i wear it so much um with so many different things and i forget when I have it on to take pictures or you know to do my outfits and then I don't even talk about it so I didn't want you guys to think I didn't wear it anymore because I do I absolutely love it I think it's one of the most beautiful pieces uh, when it comes to necklaces that I own so there is that on my face I have the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette on my eyes I don't think you can even see it let me see if I can get some light here um, the is that better yeah of course, of course, when I'm done with my video, I consider turning the light on, right? Anyhow, so um, there is the Urban Decay Basics um, palette on my lids. I only used the taupe and the medium brown and the pale shades. I didn't use the highlight and I didn't use the dark black because I just wanted kind of a creased look. Um, on my cheeks, I've got Laura Geller's um, Bacon Brighton and then also... Um, what is that color called? It's, what is it called? It's from Walmart. Hard candy, um, honeymoon, or not honeymoon, the living doll blush, the pink one from hard candy. And then I just have some chapstick on my lips. I don't have anything on my lips right now. They're very, very chapped. I've been whitening my teeth, um, professionally whitening them with some stuff that my dentist gave me. It's like a gel and it's very, very, potent and I've done it for over a week now so I've done it six times and it um, has kind of burned my lips on the exterior as well as 
Um, there's like a spot down here on the inside that's very tender. And it has made my teeth extremely tender to, you know, cold and hot. So when I walk outside, if I breathe in, I have go like that because um, the cold air kind of hurts my teeth a little bit. But that's normal when you're whitening, it's normal. I get sensitivity with just the Crest white strips um, on their own, so it's, you know, I'm not scared or anything. And as far as the um, chapped bits of my lip, I know that's completely normal too because the white strips give it to me also, so it's only, it's only normal to expect that the um, higher concentration of peroxide would do it as well. But I'm loving the um, results so far, and this is only a weekend, and it's like a six-week treatment that he gave me. It's like a tube of six weeks. It's enough for six weeks, but you just lighten to the shade that you want, and then you use the rest um, as maintenance. So I think I'm going to do another week of it, another six days, and see how I like it. I, So far, I like it right now. It looks really light. You can see. They look pretty white and my teeth are not like really yellow or anything but i drink a lot of coffee i drink a lot of tea drink a lot of red wine so i know i do get some surface staining and sometimes when i put a certain shade of lipstick on um i really don't like the way my teeth look with it so that is the reasoning behind my uh, whitening my teeth is just because i do drink a lot of coffee a lot of tea and i really do like the look of all clean white teeth, um, especially when, you know, I, I wear so many bright lipsticks that I feel like my attention, you know, attention goes to my mouth and I don't want my teeth to look yellow next to the lip colors I wear. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Okay, whatever. That's my vanity for, for you. Anyway, so there's that. And one more time, the dark with the light, just so you get an idea. I'm sorry I turned the light on towards the end and not the beginning. Anyhow, hope you guys are having a great week so far. I will talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.